Oh, what is it? Probably catfish. Probably right. Another cat, kitty cat. Oh, you gotta take this one off. No. Why? I don't have. I don't know how, and I don't have gloves. <laughs> That's pretty much been the uh, name of the game today, guys. It's me and Hook and Amanda's catfish, because she won't touch them. I barely even fished any. <laughs> That's all part of it, I guess. Maybe one day she'll learn how to unhook her own fish. Huh? Don't get don't get stuck by that thing. It'll it'll end the trip. All right, guys, I gotta unhook this fish. Feels decent. Get the camera. Oh. I don't know. I don't know. You don't know what it is. It's a huge catfish. Look at that thing. I'm going to need the... Uh, God, that's a big one, dude. That's the biggest one I've ever seen. I think it's massive. Finally. God. What do you think it is? Another big old catfish. <laughs> Might have to lose spots. It's a big one, too. Something big on now. I don't, I don't know, know what it is. Don't let him take you under the boat, okay? Just keep him. You have to follow him. Hang on, let me reel this in. I don't know what this is. Oh, where's the camera? What is this? No. It's something big. Is that a red. shark? That's a shark, Amanda. I caught a shark. You caught a shark. Look at that. Oh. <laughs> How does it feel fighting it? It's heavy. You want me to take over or you got it? You to take over or no? Yeah, get it. Here, get the camera. Stop it's it. heavy. It. Oh. oh my God. Can't believe I caught a shark. That's crazy, huh? Like this. Looks like a bull shark or something. Something. I may end up having to cut this line. I don't know. Hey, look at his little teeth! Yeah. Never handed one. I don't know if I want to try. I don't think you should try. I don't know. You gotta let it go. I'm not making around those teeth. I ain't that much. Where's my phone? Very flexible. They got off. Oh, okay. Well, that's good. I can't believe you caught a shark. I caught a shark. I believe that makes me numero under un, numero uno. You're definitely winning today. Numero uno. How do you spell speak, speak Spanish? You're 100% winning. I didn't know what to do with it because I've never. It's the first time I've ever caught a. Anyone I've been on the boat with has caught a shark. I caught so. a shark. 
I was trying to get them by the tail maybe, and then you can grab them by the tail and grab under. Sure. But you gotta be careful because they can bend so far on their body. That makes me. That was pretty neat. I wish I could have got it out to like get a photo of it I or know. something. We got it on the camera. I have to redo your rig. Yep. How do you feel about catching a uh, first shark? Um, Jeremy Wade taught me the best. Yep, he sure did. If it wasn't you? for watching all those river monsters, hey, you I wouldn't know good. how to reel it in. <laughs> That's pretty good. You, kept, you were smart. You kept it away from the propeller. You kept it away from the boat. You kept pulling it back away from the boat. Yeah. Trying to control it. I controlled it. I could control a shark. <laughs> That's definitely, uh, she's definitely got me one up now. And we put hands on it, so I consider that a landing fish. <laughs> and honestly, I'm kind of glad the line snapped because I never handled a shark. So I wasn't really super confident in doing it. I was going to try, but I definitely didn't want to get bit. But anyway, like I said, I'm glad it kind of snapped right there what at the boat. Look, that's, there's, our, that, there's sharks here. Hey, there's sharks here. <laughs> Don't get in the water. I got something to yeah. eat. Nice. What is it? I don't know. It's dragging it. Oh, shark? I don't know. It feels like it did last time. What is it? I don't know. I'm pulling it up. I think. What is it? What is it? That's a, uh, trout. This is a trout. It's a big trout. Flip him in the boat. No. It stepped the rod. <laughs> oh my god, he just broke the rod. Maybe telling you to flip it in the boat was not such a good idea. I should have got the net. Should have got the net. That sucks. Well. It wasn't exactly a cheap rod and reel combo either. <laughs> so uh, we need to look up and see the size to keep them. That's a good eating fish. And I got a trout. It cost us a rod. She got it. Damn, I can't believe we just broke that rod. Who broke it? Why'd you break it? I didn't mean to. Hey. Why'd you break it? I do got two sharks and a trout. Who caught keeper? Who caught the keeper? Remember what you were saying? Uh, this is Amanda's fish, not mine, but I'm just gonna hold up the camera because I know she wants to do it. But this one is about 21 inches, so we're gonna keep him. Anything over 13 in Mississippi is uh, you can keep. So we're gonna put him in the ice chest. And how many can you keep for a person? 13? 13. Trout's right, taking the ice chest. It's a pretty fish. Wait, just stop. That's how you should start that video. Very pretty fish. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So next time, maybe we won't snap the rod. Damn. The good thing is the reel's still good. That was my favorite reel too. We'll get another one. The good thing is the reel's still good. We just have to get another rod. We could probably reorder that same rod. You serious? Right I got something. All right, just call another little mangrove. We were just catching this is a mangrove snapper, I'm pretty sure. What all we call so far? We call oh, trout, shark, two sharks, mangrove snapper, two mangroves, catfish, of course. They're always look, everywhere. Look, that's a little one. Well, it's crapping on my hand. Okay, let it go. Take a picture of him? No, I don't think so. I can put him in a while, we'll use him as a bait for something else. Maybe. Yeah, we can. We want to. Just let it go. Amanda's catching most of the fish because I've got to hook them and everything else. So, you know, that's my excuse anyway. I have to help her do everything. That's why I'm not catching as many. That's, that's what you want to say. That's, that's what it is. That's the excuse. That's what it does. That helps you feel better at sleeping. Guys, the Simrad is absolutely just lit up. That's what we're fishing right now. Something's coming through. A school of something's coming through. Hopefully, we'll get a hold of something good. I don't know how you ain't sliding around. I don't know. 
All right, I don't know if we got on video or not, but Amanda just got another snapper. It looks almost like a mangrove, but in Mississippi we call them a gray snapper. And they have to be 12 inches or uh, longer to keep. Um, and unfortunately, he's not 12, so he won't be uh, he won't be dinner uh, later this week. So he'll get to go back. But he did. I uh, kind of missed that. It's pretty funny. He pooped everywhere, and Amanda she wasn't too happy about that. But, hey. That's how it goes sometimes. I told her she was, an, uh, she was a official fisherman now because she got pooped on. We all get pooped on eventually. The number one toothpaste brand in America. I don't know. Very good. It's been probably one of the best days we've had, huh? Oh yeah, definitely been one of the better days. Um, Guess we got something to take home and weigh up later. Yeah, flounder and trail. Yeah. yeah, definitely one of the better days. Deer Island's right down there. That's oh, exactly. What they name. That's the crazy You have guy. Deer High Island, and then you have Horn Island. It's some crazy redneck, Mississippi. It was like, ooh. And then out of all the names they choose, they choose these two. So far, um, I guess we're taking a little break right now. Huh? Yeah. yeah, we're just taking a little break out here at Horn sunburned. Island, walking around. That's so sunburned. Yeah, I'm sunburned too. I told you we needed. To... Oh. Well. We have to get back on the boat and get under that shade, get out of the sun. Mm We caught a six different species between me and me and uh, Amanda. We caught, and she honestly caught more than me. But we caught shark, some type of shark, uh, spotted trout, which we kept, rubbing them, flaying it, putting it in the freezer, a flounder, which we kept. Uh, what I call a mangrove snapper, but it's technically a, a, a gray snapper. We caught two of those. What else did we catch? We caught something else. Huh? Uh, Croaker, catfish. Well, yeah, catfish, croaker, obviously, but that's kind of to be expected. If you're on the coast of Mississippi, you're 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 definitely going to catch some catfish and croaker for sure. Unfortunately, but wasn't there one more? What was that orange fish with blue spots? Yeah, see, I think to me that's like a mangrove snapper, but I'm not sure oh, that's okay. what that was. Anyways, y'all. We had a good time, caught a bunch of fish, and we actually caught two keepers, which is always a plus because we have to drive a, a fairly decent ways. Like my time 
I drive, pull the boat down here, and I go back home to where I live. I mean, it's pretty much a tank of fuel. And we always have fun, even if we don't catch anything. But anytime you're spending that money, you know, putting that money, especially like gas is right now, to, to go somewhere, it's always good to actually at least bring something back that you can play and enjoy for dinner one night. Oh, yeah, we saw a stingray. So, yeah, we saw a stingray, we saw dolphins, we saw all kinds of stuff. But yeah, all in all, it was a good. I say it was a good trip. It's one of our better trips for sure, especially down there. That's definitely our best trip down there, no doubt. So, and now I got a new spot to go to, but that's that's how it's been for me, guys. Like I'm, I'm pretty much learning right now. Um, I grew up bass fishing, freshwater fishing. And this is all pretty new to me, even though I've had this boat a couple years now. Every time I go, is a new learning experience, and that's pretty much what it is. Whenever we go down there, that specific. Whenever we go down to Ocean Springs, is just me figure, us trying to just figure it out. You know, we're just trying to figure out where the fish are at, what time you know they're there, and just trying to get some decent fish every time we go. So that's just all learning, uh, learning experience. But anyways, we'll keep quit rambling now. We got a long, long drive ahead of us, and uh, yeah, it's gonna be for me, guys. I'll see you.